Soldier Nation in the bodybuilding.com gym. We got Craig Capruso open here. We're gonna introduce Craig and let him tell you what he's all about. Right now we're two and a half weeks out from the Olympia. It starts getting a little bit painful when you get this this close, you know, it's it's always on your mind. You're always constantly evaluating your physique. But you gotta remember, you know, it's crazy. The men's physique, Mr. Olympia, first time, kind of a big deal. Saw the schedule, we're gonna be on stage for all of five minutes. Like, it will not be, it'll be like, I will probably see the stage for five minutes. It'll be a walk out, a walk off, that'll probably take a minute. And then I'll call us back out for the comparison rounds, which will probably take about five minutes. And then we're off. And then we'll be back on about 20 minutes later and they're gonna call it probably the top five or six and announce the winners and 12 weeks of training for five minutes on stage. So, you know, you try not to take it too serious because it's just five minutes, but it's a big deal. Mr. Olympia, you know, first time ever. Men's Physique, it's, it's it was created about two and a half years ago. Um, you know, I, I felt like, I felt like I was one of the pioneers. I was the third Men's Physique pro. I got my pro card, I was the third guy to do that. But even before that, I was part of the Muscle and Fitness Male Model Search. I won that in, at the Olympia on the same stage I'll be competing at here in September. I won a competition, the Muscle and Fitness Male Model Search, the first time they ever had it. And we were we wore board shorts. I wore pink and black board shorts for that one. And I really think that was kind of the, the original launch to see if men's physique, if there was an interest in it. There was over 200 guys, so it was. But um, one of my fellow men's physique competitors, it's been at it since the get-go, my main man, Craig. So What's up, what's up? Craig's a cellular core athlete, but because we're both on bodybuilding.com, we're gonna, gonna na knock out a nasty workout. But Craig, you know, I think we have a lot of similarities and that we both play football. Um, both one of the first men's physique guys, pros, but can you yeah. tell us what, a, what you're about? Yeah, Steve turned pro right before I did. He was a junior nationals. I took a fifth uh, spot in that one against Alex Carnero, one of my class. That's right. So 211 guys uh, ran it, and then I went Team U, and we're both first year uh, physique guys. But I'm an actu actually Wall Street uh, commodity trader. I traded oil for the past three years, and I was clerking before that, so I'm kind of the business guy. Um, I just stepped away from that in June and to finance some other endeavors that I'm trying to get into as far as my own fitness career, and not so much fitness career let me say fitness entrepreneurship it's, it's not so much big. it's not so much about me I'm, I'm building a I'm building a uh, a place where other people can affiliate off with me it's not about me at this point I'm gonna start taking a backseat even though you know competing and everything seems selfish for your own right Definitely. I'm actually thinking like a businessman I want to be Ryan DeLuca <laughs> he's got he's got, definitely got a good head on his shoulders in terms of the business mindset we bounce a lot of ideas off each other um, you know Craig stepped on stage a bunch of times this year you look great um, you know, I, I know one thing me and you talk about is never changing what we're about. You know, in the sport, you have a lot of people that are willing to do anything to get a pro card or to, you know, try to one week or I should say one show to the other. You've always been a guy that's really stood true to what you believe. And so today we're going to be knocking out some arms. Craig and I, I think we, we train pretty similar, um, but it's just you both got a football background, like to get it hard, intense. Uh, Craig, you won the body space, what year was it? 2000? Right after you, well, oh, 2011. Right. I can't even remember what year I won it. It must have been 2010, because I think it was right after you, so. Were you, two, wait, 2012 you won it? Because last year was 2013, January. It started, it started in, yes, 2012, January, which it, it started in 2011, exactly. yes, exactly. And that's, that always messes me up, too. So I won it 2011, or, yes, yes 2011, 2012. <laughs> There's been one other guy, 2013, so. We're uh, tag teaming this up, bodybuilding.com. We're gonna get a little workout in, pump up these arms. We're one of the few that are in the 200 pound club, the men's physique category. Look out, look out. That's because we play <laughs> Yeah, we got, we got legs. Look at this man's legs right here. That's crazy. Look at his cross striations in there. You got, you got oh, crazy legs. Gotta train the foundation first. Crazy legs. Oh, in there. Yeah, let's do that. Excited, I don't, I'm, Craig and I have done legs once before and definitely pushed me on these legs. Today we're gonna hit these these arms. Everything right now I'm hitting twice a week. So today, today we're just gonna get, get after it. Probably high volume, get a good pump, had a good meal in me, had that platinum pre. 
my beta alanine, my water. I want to pump you up. Actually, just stay on your side and then we'll, and then we'll flip. So go biceps first, do pump or rep, and then bring it up and then do reverse. So, uh, okay. So you're gonna do the first, let's, let's just say we keep it on our 50 stack. I mean, yeah. we'll probably start with 40 for the first set just to gauge, okay. but we'll probably pump it up. So, you know, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna do 40. 40. 40 reps. Okay. And then adjust it, come down and do 40 reps reverse. Okay. And then you and I are gonna switch. And then, you so know. So we're gonna mostly a, more of a hammer curl because it's gonna be a rope? It's gonna be, yep, yeah, exactly. Hammer curl and push downs. Hammer curl and push downs. I like it. High right. volume today. 40, 40 reps at 40 pounds. It's pound per rep. I no. like it. Let's do it. Here we go. We'll jump right into it. Ten or five. What's up? Yeah. This thing's all about pumping them up. Woo! Yes, sir. That is a pump and a half already. You know, just because we're on high reps doesn't mean we're sloppy throwing the weight around. It's good form. Say to that surgery break workout we did, but still, even higher, higher reps. Squeezing, just focusing on getting in that maximum amount of blood into that muscle. Y'all are gonna see a sick pump today, that's for damn sure. Also, be on the lookout, October 4th, in Madrid, Spain. I will be there at the Arnold Sports Festival, the Arnold Sports Classic Madrid. Can't wait. I have to brush up on my Spanish. Mi, uh, mi lamo Esteban. That's about all I know. Yeah, definitely have to have to uh, let your arms recuperate for <laughs> more than 50 reps here, 50 pounds. Yeah. So this is, I know you, you were saying the last time we saw each other that, that your arms were an area you wanted to bring up. Yeah. Is this how you trained them when you wanted um, to do that or would you hit them you know both what? ways? I, I was a football player like you. I never trained arms. I right. mean, I just trained power movement. My legs, that's why they grow first. My back is really big because everything's explosive. So, you know, for the- I just think that's so many, genetically how you're dispositioned too. Probably that as well. But I'm just saying in the gym, I never really put that focus on. So now as I'm bodybuilding or aesthetically trying to build my physique, mm -hmm. you know, you got to make sure everything matches. So exactly. now I got to put a little bit more emphasis on this and maybe, maybe since my legs are so more advanced, I take away from that. Yeah. But, you know, and that's, and that's and that's one thing you heard him say. You know, he has to take take away, not take away from his legs, but you know, in terms of maybe he needs to back off because your body can only handle so much stress. You know, your central nervous system and everything else. So if you have to bring up a weak point, you might not have to not worry about you know not worry about putting any more size on his legs. He's going to still work them out, yeah. but it's going to be more maintenance on his legs while he's increasing his arm size because, like I said, you know, you can only you can only push things so hard and you can't push everything. You know, you have to kind of let one thing hang out while you work on another. So, it's a good point there. All right, you ready? You changing up a uh, hand placement or anything on these at all? Or? Let's go. All right, we'll, we'll get through it as we go through the rest of it. I'm a big fan of switching up your workouts from time to time as far as reps, time under tension, the exercises you use from dumbbells to cables to single arm to you know two arms, it's, it's such a good idea for growth and to break plateaus. You guys 
seen me do the the touch test before. We're way, way past that touch test as far as blood and the muscle. Giving this guy a good workout today. He's gonna take all my ideas. Let's go 60 then. Perfect. You can start it off since it's your baby here. Speaking of babies, I think you got some babies inside of his arms right now. I change grips too. I mean, I don't know if you do. I go, I do both. It just depends on what I want to hit. So. I got two. Yep. One. There we go. There we go. I got nine. Yep. I'm gonna back down now. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. static hold pauses you know this weight was kind of light we kind of crushed that but I'm sure he was squeezing out just as I was so some of those small reps so, so sure down you know. on, the, on the rep tempo if you guys want to show you guys you think we're not working you think it's arm day you know you're not gonna get a sweat in look at our body marks we're leave, leaving our mark on the gym today. I'm thinking uh, one more exercise for each thing yeah. just go straight dumbbells we haven't done anything yet with a dumbbell so we're gonna do isolation hammer curls, really kicking it out, working on, on this outer head here, supersetting that with a dumbbell kickback. Six weeks straight. It's a science of, um, it's gonna be a cellucorebodybuilding.com uh, kind of joint venture, but we um, you know, got in touch with Mike Robertson, he's really smart, you know, and uh, it's just gonna explain everything. As you do the biomechanics of working out, He's gonna show you where the lead-in points, where the muscles, you know, contract, you know, everything. So it's gonna be pretty intense. This, uh, what, what is it called again? Uh, I believe it's the science of training, something science like training? that. I keep calling it the, I hashtag the science of. I don't know what I it's like it. officially called. Let's go, let's go lighter, yeah. so we can actually squeeze them out. Seven shows in one year. The guy's been lean and ripped all year long. I've been getting a lot of kudos from my fellow pros and giving a lot of feedback, but you know what the problem is? They don't judge the shows, but they, they can give me the kudos all they want, but Serious I'll be watching, man. It'll Serious be a good show. Physique. That is one thing, you know, especially with the first year guys, you know, it's been hard. Uh, there's been so many pros, but with the first year guys, I think we all really had a mutual respect for one another with what, you know, what we were all about. I think there's a lot of similar Similar styles of training, ex you know, ex bodybuilders, ex athletes that, that jumped onto the men's physique right off the bat. So, a lot of respect. I give kudos to anyone who's an athlete. These guys, skinny guys with abs. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's plenty of them in the division that are coming up. You know, your time will come. But I just, I don't know. Let me get through this workout. <laughs> put, put my uh, sock in my mouth right now. 
doing things a little bit differently today. We really pre-exhaust the, the arms. We're finishing off with more of our, our mass building exercises. Again, you just gotta switch it up, find out what works for you. Do everything, you always do the same, same exercises in the same order, your body's gonna get used to that. So right now, to finish off, we're throwing it on our dip belts and we're doing dips for weight. This could get interesting real fast. Arms are fried here, but uh, you know. I don't know why I just did this. Finishing off, I like it, man. Totally switching it up. You know, I've done these a lot of times first in my routine. It's been a long time since I've done them last in my routine. Right off the bat. Woo! Let's go, big guy. So on these, I'm gonna try to come down, elbow at least 90 degrees. Up all the way, full extension, full range of motion. I'm not gonna lock out. I don't wanna put all that pressure. And for me, really, I had 95 pounds, you know what I'm saying down there. Here we go. There we go. Weeks out, we're not lightening up on weight, we're not just doing body weight stuff. Push it. Ha. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. Ah. Woo. Oh. Chest I know, right? Especially on those, those last ones. It's kind of like everything in your body starts taking over. It's such a good way to just entirely shock that whole body. I'm gassed. An arm workout, gassed. workout like that in a while. Tonight we're gonna come back in for some posing. Finish off right now with my 15 minutes of low intensity stuff. I do 15 minutes right now before, 15 minutes after. Big thanks to Craig. Teambodybuilding.com right there. Your, uh, your ex-linebacker, over 200 pounds, men's physique athletes. Doing a big, thank you much, man. Welcome, dude, good job. Good luck. Be, there'll be more to come from this guy here. Woo!